Right, Shalom Yasharalam, back again with another Lord with an edify video through the spirit and the power of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Before I begin this lesson, I want to give all honor and glory and praises unto the Heavenly Father and to His only begotten Son, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, Bashim Rachakwadash. Next up, the honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, who still got this to the highways and byways and filled us with the 100% truth according to the Bible and rule well. And peace, blessings, and safety, and mercy unto the acting about those who is pushing the truth from the four corners of the earth with bonusness, righteousness, and the sincerity to the best of their abilities in the name of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. And I just back again, just another, did another, through, another lesson through the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. <clears throat> Excuse me. On um, peace is not coming, man. What's coming is destruction, death, and destruction, man. You know? So with that, we're going to hop right into the scriptures. Let the scriptures talk. Um, let me see. Uh, um, this is the book of Matthew, 10, 10th chapter, 10, verse 34. This is the book of Matthew, 10, 34. Think not that I am come to send peace on earth. Right. This is Lord Yahweh Shah speaking, man. The, these are red letters, so these are Lord Yahweh Shah speaking. This is a, he's, this is, these are his words, you know? So let me read that again. This is the book of Matthew, chapter 10, verse 34. Think not that I am come to send peace on earth. Right. It says, think not that I am come to send peace on earth, which means that um, you should even be, that, that, that thought in your mind shouldn't even, you know, resonate with your spirit, man. You know, a, a, a peace coming to the earth. Because peace is not coming to the earth. So don't even think that peace is coming to this place, man. Because this place promotes nothing but wickedness and idolatry, man. Abominations, man. So with a place like that, with a place like this, this sinful wicked kingdom called America, don't even think that peace is even coming to this place. Because the, this rulership, the world, the, this rulership that we're living in right now, man, is run by the wicked. So it, this place got to go, got to get destroyed before it can get built back up. You know? This place got to go. So let me read that again. This is the book of Matthew 10 and 34. Think not that I am come to send peace on earth. Right? So don't even think that Yahweh Shah is coming back to send peace on earth. And Yahweh Shah is who you ignorantly call God. I mean, who you ignorantly call Jesus Christ, man. You know? Yahweh Shah and the uh, Lashwan Kodash. He said, don't think he's coming back to send peace on earth, man. Because like I said, this, this place is wicked. It promotes nothing but wickedness. So don't even think uh, a place like this... Is gonna have peace, man. And the reason I came not to send peace, but a sword, right? Yahweh Shah say he's coming not to send peace, but a sword, man. And this sword represents destruction, man. You know. As a matter of fact, um, one of the swords. As a matter of fact, let me get that precept. Um, you already asked him, so you already know what I'm going. This is what he's gonna come back with, man. It's the book of Isaiah 66. Verse 15, Behold, the Lord will come with fire, and with his chariots like a whirlwind, to render his anger with fury, and his rebuke with flames of fire. Right, so that's what Yahweh Shah <clears throat> is coming back with, man. Yahweh Shah is coming back with fire, man. You know, from those, with those chariots, zapping the heck out of people with those laser beams. Uh, he's going to put his spirit on the IC, ICBM nuclear missiles, man, the ICBMs, you know. He's going to come back with fire, man. And what does fire do? Fire what? Destroys, right? You know? Fire destroys things. If a house is set on fire, it's everything that's in that house that was in the house while it was on fire is ruined. It's destroyed. That's exactly how America's going to go out, man. That's the destruction that he was talking about. You know? He's going to come back with fire. You know? So we're going to go from there. Um, to the book of Isaiah, chapter 48, verse 22. This is the book of Isaiah 48 and 22. There is no peace, saith the Lord, unto the wicked. Right. The scripture says that there is no peace, saith the Lord, unto the wicked, man. And who's the chief wicked? The so-called white man, the biblical Edomites, man. You know? Because they're, they're the one who goes around promoting abominations in the four corners of the earth, influencing other countries and nations to follow follow his customs, man, which is wickedness, man, you know? 
So the scripture said that there's no peace coming to this place, man. There's no peace coming to this to 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 this to to this land called America and in the four corners of the earth, man. You know? And then you can also throw two thirds of our people in there too because they're wicked, man. Our people two thirds of our people are very wicked, you know? So so so, so repentance ain't gonna be the, the, the listen man. The door of repentance is going to close, and when that door closes, you best believe the wicked, the wicked, the wicked people of our nation, man, is going to get put to death, man. So let me read this again. This is the book of Isaiah 48 and 22. There is no peace save the Lord unto the wicked, right? The the Esau, these other nations, are two thirds of our people, man, ain't no ain't, ain't no peace coming for them, man. Ain't nothing but a bunch of destruction coming for them. Since our people want to act like heathens, they're going to get judged like heathens. You know? Because right now they act like heathens. They're not, they're not following the ways of Yahweh, Shem, Yahweh, so they're considered heathens, man. That's where they're going to get a heathen judgment. You mean a, 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 a heathen judgment? You know what I mean? So this is the book of Isaiah 57 and 21. There is no peace save my power to the wicked. Right, and that's pretty much quoting what I just read in Isaiah 48th chapter. There is no peace coming to the to the wicked, man. You know? Like I said, the, the, the chief wicked person on the planet Earth, the chief the wicked nation, as I should say, it's the so-called white men, the Caucasian race, the Edomite race. The man, woman, and the child, man. They, they are the wicked, man. The scripture says that the wicked are estranged from the womb. They go astray as soon as they be born speaking lies, man. And that's exactly what they spread across the foreign colors of the earth. A bunch of lies, a bunch of rape, rob, murder, uh, and identity theft, man. That's what that's what the chief, the top wicked person promotes on this earth, man. A bunch of abominations, you know. That's why there's no peace coming to him, man. You know. We're going to go to the book of Ezekiel, 7th chapter. Excuse me, because like, contrary to popular belief, man, everybody thinks it's peace is coming on earth. Everybody's going to hold hands. Every every race of people is going to finally hold hands. And, uh, you know, you know they, that Mr. Grinch, um, that Mr. Grinch, mo that Mr. Grinch movie, that one, at the end, everybody just holding hands and everybody was singing and, and the spirit, that whatever that ball was came up and then you know the Grinch changed his heart and everybody just was together everybody was just all happy well that's not coming man that's that's why that's television that's television and this is a reality it's the book of Ezekiel 7 and 25 destruction come of what the scripture say again it says destruction come of you know it says destruction is coming not peace everybody holding hands everybody kumbaya all the flowers, all the kisses, all the hugs. That's not coming. That's not coming when your house shot comes back, man. When your house shot comes back, it's what the scriptures say, destruction come of. That's exactly what your house shot is bringing, man. He's going to come back with vengeance. He's going to come back angry, man. That's said, Lord, that's said the scriptures, man. And they shall seek peace, and there shall be none, right? All, all of these people on the planet Earth is going to seek peace in those days, man. Especially in the days of Jacob's trouble. Martial law, everybody's gonna seek peace, everybody's gonna want peace. But there ain't no peace gonna be coming, man. There ain't nothing gonna be nothing but destruction, man. You know? And this darn show is not gonna they darn show is not gonna get no peace when your Howard Shot come back, man. Cause they're gonna be trying to seek to try to buy the to try to buy the Lord out, man. You know? They're gonna try to actually buy the Lord out. Just like how they're gonna fight the Lord, they're gonna try to buy the Lord out, man, with their riches, man. But the scripture says, Richard prof profit of not in the day of wrath, man. So that's not going to work for you when your Howard Shah comes back. You know, no matter how much money they got. Your judgment, is, when your judgment is sealed, that is, that's what this is going to be. That's called destiny, baby. Yahweh, that's who your Howard Shah is, destiny, man. You know, if he decides to put you to death, you're going to get put to death, man. There ain't no if, ands, or buts about it, man. So we're going to go to the book of First Thessalonians five and three, for when they shall for when they shall say, peace and safety, right? And who is the day? Talking about your presidents, your 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 um your higher ups, you know what I mean? Your mayors, your presidents, or whatever the heck you got your town, you know what I mean? Your dictators or um or whatever, man. You know whoever is the the uh how should I say the highest the highest the spokesman, you know what I mean? In your country. 
when they shall say peace and safety, so when they say it's peace is coming, like like Donald Trump in uh, North Korea supposedly supposed to be having peace. Well, that's not well, that's not so. The scripture says when they shall say peace and safety, then shall then shall the destruction come upon them as travail upon a woman with child. Right then shall suddenly destruction come upon them, man, as a woman with with labor pains, man. Because when a woman has a baby, she's carrying a child, you know, she's, the little labor pains come out of nowhere, man. She doesn't know when she's going to get those labor pains, you know. When she could get, when she get her mood swings and all that stuff, man, she's always in pain. It comes suddenly, man, you know. It comes suddenly when her water breaks and she wants to have a child, man, you know. Hey, that comes suddenly, man. And they shall not escape. Right, you're not gonna escape the judgment from your how about Shimi, how it's shy, man. That's what the Lord that said the scriptures, man. If your judgment, if your destiny, if your judgment has been has been written, it's gonna come to pass, man. If the Lord spoke it, it's gonna come to pass, man. You know, if the Lord spoke that you was gonna die by by a lion eating you, you know what I mean? You gonna get you gonna you best believe you're gonna get ate by a lion, man. If the Lord, if your how about Shimi how shy said that you gonna die by way of ICBM nuclear fire. Damn it, you gonna die by ICBM nuclear fire because your high body shot is control of all things, man. There ain't no if ands or buts about that, you know. So you know that, that was pretty much the point right there. Through the spirit, probably high body shimmy shot. Let's low when this video was edifying for y'all. Give that that that's watching through the spirit. Call a lawyer, I'm like your high by Shimio Shai. I'll praise to your high by Shimio Shai. Double honest to the apostle and elders of great millstone. And peace, blessings, and safety, and mercy to Yagi, but there is pushing you in the four corners of the earth for righteousness, boldness, and sincerity to the best of their abilities. In the name of your high by Shimio Shai. With that, Shalawam, Kwame Shalom.